I've made my pop-up bird cage and now it's time to put it into a card. And when you make a card with the pop-up dies, you kind of have to spend a little bit of time on the card itself too because the pop-up dies are always going to look best if the card is opened up fully flat all the way to 180 degrees. And what really helps that happen so that your pages don't warp is if you'll go ahead and reinforce the card itself with a thicker material like a mat board or a chipboard and then that's going to encourage whoever you're giving this card to to really open it up nice and flat. I like to start with my card interior when I'm making a pop-up card. So I've cut a piece of pattern paper here to five and three quarters high and the full 12 inches wide. And then the first score that I made was just right up the middle, just like a regular standard card. And then, because I want to give this a little thickness, I measured off that fold about an eighth of an inch in each direction and made two more folds. And when I fold on those, that's what's going to give my card a little thickness, a little room for the pop-up inside. Now I can add my finished birdcage inside the card interior here. And I will add it just like I would the Christmas tree. I've added a strong adhesive, in this case a red liner tacky tape, to the base pieces, those two triangles on the bottom. And this is just a little hint I recommend. There's not a lot of surface area here on the base, and you don't want one side to kind of be pulling the other side up. It's hard to line a fold up directly in a fold. So I like to go ahead and snip my base piece in half right on that center fold, and then just line up the two triangles near, very near the fold inside the card. Just puts a little bit less pressure on it. Now if I fold that flat, I've got my two triangles here at the bottom that have the adhesive on them, and then those two triangles are going to meet in that center fold of the card. So I'm not going to worry about the two extra folds, I'm still just going to line up those triangles right on the center fold of the card. I'm ready to stick that bottom triangle down and I just want to make sure that my birdcage isn't sticking out of the top of my card when it's closed. So I'll come down the fold until everything is hidden by the paper and then I'll just press that bottom triangle down really close to that center fold. It's that one underneath right there. And now let's talk about it just a little bit of reinforcing. It, if you've used a strong adhesive, it's probably going to hold up just fine, but it's real easy right now just to sink a little brad in there and make sure that it never goes anywhere. I'll use another Tim Holtz product, which is the Mini Fasteners. They're just a tiny little brad in those really great metallic colors that are going to match my project. So I'll use the bronze one, and I'll just stink a little mini brad right through that base. Now where the base is going to get the most pull on it is right out on the furthest end. And so I went as close as I could get to the fold there without going over the fold. And then right up in that corner of the base and just pierce the hole and put that little mini fastener in there. Okay, I just peeled up the liner of the tape on the top of that other triangle. So now it's sticky right up here on top. And this triangle is going to come across to the other side of the fold. And what I would suggest you do, just line it up, make sure it's nice and lined up over the top of the other one. Bird cage is in the card, and then let's just close the card on that center fold and press that down. And then when you open it up, your bird cage is going to pop up. Now one last thing to do, I want to go in there now, I'll just have to partially close the card so I can get my paper piercer in there and then add that other little reinforcing brad. Again, that's optional. If you've used a strong tape, it's probably going to hold up just fine. But if you want that little added bit of reassurance and decoration, you can add the little mini brad right there. And there's my other little mini brad now. So my base is very well reinforced. 
my bird cage is popping up and popping down just fine. And now it's time to add some additional decorations. 